Hey guys, what's up, Spicy here? Right now, I'm casting a game between G Foil, Orm, she's near the south, a little bit more, slightly to the east of Zerb, who's blue. If we look at their expansions, Zerb has a very nice starting metal field. I think it's very even here. He's got a nice uh, Mr. Orange here. Mr. G Foil has a nice expanse, kind of to the equator, and definitely can make some make some ground up this way. Uh, there's definitely going to be a conflict zone either between them here or between them there. That's the uh, amazingness of a round planet. Zerb definitely gets definitely gets an advantage on a starting spot. It seems like there's a little bit uh, a little bit more there. And so we're going for a CS build. He's going to go. He's going to go metal, energy, energy storage, and another metal. And we're going to get a standard build out of this guy. Three mechs, energy, and a bot factory. Pretty standard. Um, this guy's getting his third metal up, and he's getting his bot factory. So I'm not sh sure about that build with the uh, with the uh, energy storage. But let's see if it works. Uh, right, right after his bot factory, he's not making any energy at all. He's going right to the right to the punch. Going to get some scouting up with his uh, air factory, which is usually a good move on his part. Uh, this, this, if Zerb knows what he's doing, he's definitely going to try to get this metal here and try to take all the metal he can get here. There's a uh, very large patch of metal, I mean, uh, very large patch of metal right here and right here. So Zerb definitely has an advantage there. But G Foil can definitely come back behind the back and uh, expand, see if he can sneak in and get a lot of metal here. So. Uh, he's he's at a slight disadvantage that he has to cover a lot of ground, so we'll see what he see what he plans to doing. So right after this, he's going for energy. He's not making anything out of the uh, air factory yet. Maybe a disadvantage. Maybe he's a little bit struggling on econ. Um, right after the, this bot factory, he's going for th uh, four energy, and he's going to go for an air factory. A little bit more standard there. Uh, he's going for more. He's going for metal, and then right after that, he's going to get a uh, bot factory up. That's that's a pretty good build. So this is four energy here, and he's going for a energy storage right after that. That's actually probably going to work out pretty well, a little bit better than uh, energy storage first, but we'll see how it turns out. So we already got another, uh, we got a we got a vehicle factory and a bot factory out from here. So we're going to see a little bit more army, a Zerb. Currently, he is uh, Mr. G Foil is not working on any structures that will produce uh, warrior units besides this air factory that he could pump out some bombers and do some early harass on. Mr. Uh, Zerb's mech fields. We'll see what he does. This is Zerb here goes for a uh, satellite. See what he can do with it. Um, this could be useful. This, it usually gets a little bit, like, get some uh, quick intel. See if what's going on a little faster. This is a smart, reasonably smart move. So now we're getting a air factory up from uh, Zerb. It seems this build has actually worked a little bit better because at the time uh, G4 has only started scouting. Now and he's X Factory is up and he's going to begin scouting as well. Usually out of a, uh, usually out of a factory, I like to see fighters. So now he's building fighters. So that's good. He's going to get a scout up. Let's see how the scout goes. Oh, oh, it might actually just find his base instantly. Oh, looks like it might. No, where is it going? Oh, it's going to get shot down. That's not good. <laughs> um. They definitely are going to close, and there's going to be a lot of uh, fights between them. Definitely right here. Let's see if they either one of them makes some defensive structures. Definitely will allow win them the advantage if the, the fight comes to their base. So a lot of energy out of here. Pretty close, actually, to uh, G Foil. So if G Foil ends up coming over with an army, he can definitely, from this side, definitely take out a lot of energy. But his commander is there, and if he gets a nice Uber cannon off, he can definitely stop a lot of uh, attacks. So we're getting a satellite from. Uh, Mr. G Foil. It's actually a pretty good move because it's he's pretty he's putting it a little bit close to uh, Zerb. But at the time now, the only person with any military units is Zerb. He's pumping out out of this factory, and this actually could be a disadvantage. Now, okay, so now we're getting a, we're getting a big line. We're getting a really big line from uh, G Foil here. Not too many workers on it though, but uh, it's good. I I really think that G, G Foil should definitely be trying to get all his mechs in his area. He's got a lot of easy mechs he can defend. Definitely very working on that. Uh, oh, we get a worker snipe with a bunch of scouts. It's usually not the best. He could have ha had one of these guys in here and stop that. One of these fighters, the CV micros it. Oh, is he gonna? He's gonna get one. He's gonna get two. Is he gonna get another one? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, he's scared. He's running away from the scout. Oh man. Uh, looks like there's a scared fighter today. So we're getting a uh, looks like a little proxy, little scout. This little scout docks out here. He's actually might be able to snipe off this these workers if they uh, they don't finish this. Nope, looks like the turret's gonna finish in time. So that's that's a good move on him, defending his mechs fields. 
so currently it looks like G-Foil's got the advantage scouting wise. He's also got a big line of Mex uh, workers coming up. While we've only got a line here and a line here, so this these guys are gonna have a little bit uh, more time, more like um, need to walk, travel a bigger distance. So there's gonna be a little bit of advantage on his side. He's definitely gonna be able to get a lot more, uh, a lot more factories up. So he's going for a couple bot factories. Oh, he's going for a couple uh, vehicle factories. Sorry, and a lot of bot factories. Definitely trying to get his bot factories up. I think he's his satellite is probably spotted. Let's see his view. Definitely, yep, he's spotted the uh, enemies here, so he's definitely moving his docks down. Let's see if he micros it a little bit, trying to get some uh, kills. Oh, Zerb is microing it. This is going to be bad for uh, G Foil. Is he going to micro? Oh, he's doing a little bit of it. Yep, that's good. He managed to push that back. Getting his factories up now. Let's see what Zerb sees. You can see a little bit of box here, but his his the difference between that is he's got a uh, Mr. Gfo has got a uh, satellite a little bit closer to um uh to Zerb, so he definitely gets a little bit more intel. <laughs> definitely a smart move. And if we look at it, uh, it looks like Gfo has actually seen basically the entirety of Zerb's base, while Zerb has. He doesn't really know what's going on here. He's got an idea where he is. Uh, Zerb has actually moved a uh, docks in. Has sniped. Managed to snipe off one of these factories. It's a little bit of a bad micro on uh, G Foil's part. He maybe should have moved a couple of uh, docks in there. But uh, you can always you can always talk about what a unit a player could do when you're seeing it from the top down. But when you're in the midst of battle, you're always thinking about oh I need to expand up here or something. So that's so it's it's it's, it's it's very, it's pretty difficult to uh, think. But uh, yep, it looks like he's gonna do something. He's gonna start making some towers to defend this mix field. <laughs> it probably would have been easier to send like two docks off his line here, but it's it's fine. It's gonna work out. It looks like we're gonna go from a. He's gonna get a counter attack. It's good. Gonna, gonna he's coming down from the top. Gonna try to take out some energy of uh, Zerbs. Zerbs actually uh, pumped out some bombers, which is usually a really nice strategy to uh, harass. And uh, those are going to get quickly cleaned up by the commander Zuber Cannon. He's going to get. He's going to kill off a couple of a uh, couple of uh, those workers. He might actually be able to pull off Zerb's army. That's actually going to be a bad move for Zerb if he gets his whole. If he pulls his back army back, his commander should be able to take that out pretty easily. Um, looks like he's going to get a couple workers. Is that going to finish? Um, oh. Oh, he should go for the he should go for the workers. He's doing it. He's going for the workers. Oh, he's gonna get taken out. All right. Well, that's that's gonna be cleaned up. So what? The problem here is Zerb has moved his whole army back over here. I think he's gonna have to defend an attack from there, and he's not. While Zerb is taking the advantage, or sorry, G Fuel is taking the advantage here, and he's moved right into uh, Zerb's base and taking out energy, he's taking out factories, he's taking out everything. Really focus fire down on the energy and the, those factories over anything else. Maybe get some workers down. Kill some workers, kill some more factories. It's definitely looks like the uh, favor is going for uh, G Foil here. He doesn't have much of a base. He doesn't have much of energy. It's not really defended or anything. But he's got a lot of he's got a lot of production. He's outgunned uh, Zerb production wise. So we definitely see the tides turning here. Uh, he's building a little bit more factories. He's got his commander not working on energy. That's that's usually a bad move. And he doesn't have these factories producing any tanks at all. So we should have we should have seen a little bit more out of him than there. This docks isn't doing anything. It's just kind of idle here. Um, Zerb has enough has enough engineers to go out and start taking all these mechs. I see all these mech fields and none of them are getting claimed. They don't seem to want to go outside their base to get mechs. Oh, he's doing a little bit here. He's got a little proxy base. That's good. Two towers defending a little. That that should assist his production. Uh, the game it looks like this is near the end of the game, and uh, maybe a win. This is gonna pick up a win. Oh, he's gonna break through the lines. He doesn't have too many. I usually make I only make a um, pelter into the enemy base if they see I have a lot of destruct defensive structures. But it seems like he's fine. A couple of flamers here. Let's see if he can micro it. Keep out of range of the flamers. You get in the range of those flamers, he can take out like four or five. Yep, you can see he's microing them. So that's good. Okay, cool. And. It looks like he's definitely going to try to pull the army off again to this side, forcing his army out of the defensive line, forcing his army away from this belter. He's going to keep a little unit, a couple units here, and I don't know why he's doing that. Oh, he's figured it out. 
So he's got his armor. He's got his armor split, and this is actually a really, really good move on uh, G Foil. He's definitely he's being able to get in here and uh, do a lot of harass, do a lot of damage. And I don't think it's possible for Serb to recover here. He can't really get. There's a lot of units in his base. So he really can't get around to take out all this metal. But if he he made a couple factories here, Zerb did, and uh, came and attacked all this uh, energy back here, he could have probably won. A detective factory comes up for uh, G Foil. Still, this whole time he's made four factories and they haven't done a single thing. Haven't produced a single unit all game. That's probably a I didn't notice or just really didn't really care. He's winning. He just didn't really care. Um, so we got a pelter up. This pelter is probably not going to go down. It seems like there's an, a wall of bot, a docks just to stop that pelter. And just having it, just being able to defend a pelter, you don't need to be in the big guy's base. If you can just defend the attacks, he puts it, your pelter will pick apart his uh, his um, his base eventually. So. That's that's good on his part. We're seeing he's seeing him going targeting down that air factory. That seems like the last bit of air production uh, Zerb can make. So at this point, uh, G Foil can make a, make some air factories and go in and start bombing his commander and taking down the health of that commander. Uh, as a last effort, he's moving up his commander up, seeing if he can defend off these dox attacks. But they're too well split. There's a dox attack up here, the dox attack down here. The commander just cannot move fast enough to take out all these dox attacks. He's killing off the uh, NOG. Looks like, yep, okay. He's killing off the bots. And he's trying to, he's just, he's avoiding the commander. He doesn't, he doesn't want to lose his whole army. This commander looks like he's going right for this uh, pelter here. I definitely target, have your pelters target down the commander, because if you got the commander basically dead, you might as well send everything you got at it. Because it's very, in the new patch, it's very difficult to uh, repair a commander. So that. As I said, the Pelter dropped, Pelter died, Pelter went down. But at this point, it's 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 probably impossible for uh, Subject Cover because G Foil's in his base, take, gunning all, got us all docks, taking out his energy, all that stuff. These docks are a little bit idle, but it doesn't really matter because the game is basically over. Commander's moving forward, and it oh, it goes for that Pelter, it swung us, swung around. He's, he's gonna see what he can do with the uh, Uber Cannon, take out a couple of them docks as best as he can. And it looks like this is the end for Zerb. Commander explodes. And do we get the GG? Maybe not. But uh yeah. Well played by G Foil. He could have probably micro a little bit better back here. Uh, maybe expand a little bit more. He didn't really expand, he's got some bot factories out here. And it's it's a reasonable move. He can make engineers and fact um docks out of that basic defense but uh, in the end what was the downfall for Zerb was definitely his expansion he probably should have moved up a little bit more we'll look at this um, give him give some thoughts on it so if we go back to right up corner cam is non-functional <laughs> so if we look at it near the end he really should have expanded. He had a lot of metal, and he, this was all behind him. It would have taken a lot of energy and a lot of a lot of mechs, uh, a lot of metal input to get go send his units all the way around here. Waste a lot of time while Zerb could bushing. So Zerb should have definitely expanded backwards, got captured all that metal if he could. He definitely had some idle workers here, just taken two of them and just had a big area commands. Um, uh, G Foil did all right. I I definitely think he could have expanded a little bit more. There's a lot of metal unclaimed throughout this planet. Definitely uh, could have expanded a little bit more. But in the end, it was a good game, and uh, that's basically all I got for tonight. Thank you guys for.